Hey everyone, it's Ross. In today's video, we're looking at the tomatoes and very specifically a very special variety of tomato. And this is called the Blonde Kopchkin tomato, um, also called Ely. There's many names for this. And it was recommended to me by Amy Goldman in her book, um, The Heirloom Tomato. And I got a number of varieties based off of her recommendations, based off of what I really enjoyed in the past. And you can back see back here, <laughs> it's really a, quite a jungle of tomatoes, but there's just crazy clusters of tomatoes back here. Um, this whole plant is just filled with these tomatoes um, and they're huge clusters that have tons of flowers on them uh, the plant normally if I were to just let this bush out I think actually doesn't get very tall maybe six feet tall and then it kind of stops um, but you can see down here on the lower trusses what the fruit really looks like and how many just sheer amount of tomatoes are on this damn thing it's just it's really something special and you know, here's another one that's a bit lower. So this thing gets covered with tomatoes, this plant, this variety. It's just really is insane. I don't know how else, I can't really, I think, show you the full scope because of where this, this plant unfortunately is. But it's just insanely productive. And not only is it insanely productive, but these tomatoes down here, taste fantastic. Um, these are honestly some of the better cherry tomatoes I have. The only one I think that beats this or comes close is Sun Gold. And then also I have a black cherry that I think is better than them both. It's a really good tomato. And it has like some sort of interesting pulp. It's kind of like a, the way I like to think of it is like a slip skin grape where you bite into this and then the pulp bursts in your mouth and slips away from the skin. And then the skin's a separate entity in your mouth. It's not exactly like that, but it's pretty close. This plant can get a little bit out of control is that on these trusses, it forms some leaves and it also forms, I think, new stems. Um, but it has just these gigantic trusses of tomatoes, guys. Um, I think probably roughly when it's all said and done, assuming they all get pollinated, it's probably around 100 to 200 fruits per truss. Um, the other incredible feature of this tomato, which I think is a bit overlooked, is that it doesn't get affected by the rain. At least it does, but just very, very slightly. They have an incredible staying power on the vine. Um, and this is really actually talked about, not just my own experience, but if you look this variety up and look up what nurseries have to say about it, they just don't fall off the vine. Um, they just are here for a long time. And the rain really doesn't bother them. This one is super ripe. And this one I think is the only one on the, on the bunch that's affected by the rain. Um, and it may even be edible. I'm not, I don't want to really find out. But um, we had two, or two inches of rain came in two days ago and this, this vine just came in like a champ. Where I have other varieties of tomatoes that have split, you know, cracked open and whatnot. And as a result, I have to come out here and pick off all these tomatoes off of the plant beforehand. Like, this variety here as an example the i think this is my green doctor's cherry tomato if i'm not mistaken and um, it just splits every single time it rains same thing with sun gold and this is where i think this variety just has the edge it's not only very tasty it has very productive clusters that stay for a very long long time on the vine and uh, they withstand the rain extremely well. So I can't really think 
or imagine of a better cherry tomato. If I was trying to create one from breeding, as an example, I'm trying to get out of this mess back here. <laughs> Doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to. <laughs> but if I was trying to create one, guys, um, I don't think I could create one better than this. So I'm kind of trapped and we're gonna end the video here. Um, but yeah, I wanna thank you guys for watching this one and uh, hopefully you grow it. You know, you'll get to understand it for yourself. But I think there's just something that happens, you know, with experience, we all realize that this one just stands out above the rest. And it's very obvious uh, that that is an incredible tomato. So yeah, I wanna thank you guys for watching and we'll talk to y'all soon. Take care.